Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought to film for you guys some postpartum slash recovery must-haves. I feel like this video has been very much long awaited. But also, I found these videos very helpful whenever I was pregnant. I was watching videos like crazy because I didn't know what to really have or buy. I, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Like, I was literally, I was going into it completely clueless. Um, I didn't really have anyone to ask, like, what they recommended or anything like that. Or at least I never thought to ask. I kind of just was like, okay, well, I'm going to see what the hospital gives me. And which some of these items that I have here, the hospital does provide. But you could also buy it beforehand just to feel a little bit more prepared, I guess you could say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. I kind of have these in like a random order. I'm just going to go ahead and name things. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to name, coming for someone that actually teared. I had second degree tear, so I can I can relate, you guys. So I 100% recommend the Freedom Mom icy pads. Uh, they're instant icy pads. You literally just get them out the package. I think you just shake it actually, and then they're ready to use. Those help so extremely much. Like I cannot emphasize how good those felt. My Kuka was thanking me. I think the hospital does give you some. I can't 100% remember. No, actually, I don't think the hospital gives you some. But thankfully enough, I had someone that I was sharing a room with. And she she gifted me one. I was... <laughs> I, if you if you ever come across this video, thank you so much because those were a lifesaver. You guys have, those are a must have. Like I cannot emphasize enough. And then I also did see a TikTok of like this girl making her own like pad sickles. That's what she named it. But honestly, to me, they weren't the same. It's very much a money saver because those are actually pretty pricey. If I can find any um, cheaper on Amazon. Oh, I forgot to mention that in the intro, but if I can find these items for a reasonable price or just find them in general, I'm going to try and make an Amazon list for you guys and link it down below to make your life a little bit easier. But back to what I was saying, I follow her video, which she just used aloe vera gel, I think witch hazel, and just maxi pads. Put them all on the pad and then she just left them in the freezer. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't like how cold they were. Just the instant pads or the icy pads work better in that aspect where it's not too cold. But 100% recommend those. I'm going to try and find some cheaper alternative for you guys. But if not, you can go ahead and try and make your own at home pasticles. <laughs> Moving on. This is not even a question. Like you're going to need this. You need diapers. I got some from Walmart. They worked perfectly fine. The ones that they give you at the hospital also work perfectly fine, but they they don't give you enough. So you for sure have to buy your own as well. For me, I think the ones from Walmart worked perfectly fine and they are at a reasonable price. Everything did go up ever since I had my baby though. So like I said, I'm going to be trying to find cheaper alternatives, but I can't 100% guarantee you that I can. The next on my list are the witch hazel wipes. I feel like for sure you can make those your, yourself or if not, there should be be some cheaper ones you can even just like grab a cloth or something drench it in witch hazel and just kind of pat pat yourself down there and witch hazel wipes on top of the icy pads oh my gosh that felt like heaven i just i can i think about it and i just remember how relieved i was after i put that combination together i can't even express how good that felt on my tear i don't really know how bad it hurts uh, for my girlies that don't tear but i'm sure the witch hazel wipes must help you down there as well because regardless your body's going through a lot and also i know that witch hazel helps with hemorrhoids so i've heard so yeah i just recommend the witch hazel wipes in general so i did mention the diapers earlier but you're for sure gonna want to have maxi pads unless you can find diapers that already have them built in i do know that they sell them but i don't know how much they are so i do recommend the maxi pads especially if you're gonna make your own icy pads or your pad sickles so i remember that's why i bought the maxi pads but i do want to recommend them as well just in case you don't want to buy disposable diapers you probably can just use the maxi pads because i know every woman's body is different after giving birth some probably don't even really bleed that much i was bleeding so much and then you have all these fluids coming out of you like 
the odor, you guys. Yeah. Anyways, I recommend comfy clothes. If you don't have some already, get them. Stretchy, loose, comfy clothes, depending if it's winter, summer, whatever season you're in, when you're giving birth, you wanna get the comfiest clothes that you can get your hands on. I guarantee you, your body is just, you're gonna be too tired for you to be wearing jeans and stuff like that. <laughs> I had fuzzy socks, I had slippers. I was just, yeah. <laughs> Comfy clothes. The next thing, this that the hospital actually provides you with, the cleansing bottle. I just used the one that they gave me at the hospital. I know Freedom Mom already sells kits pre like made for you, but I feel like they're hella taxed. I don't know, you can do the math though. I don't know if, if it's worth it. The quantity is not enough for the price, I feel like. I feel like it doesn't have that many icy pads and stuff like that. Also, they give you a cleansing bottle at the hospital, so you don't really need that bottle. I've heard that the Freedom Mom cleansing bottle is really good, but I don't really know what's the difference between. I know it just has like a little curve on the, on the tip instead of like just being straight. I don't know. It might be better. And I also wanted to throw a little tip in there for my girlies that tear. Specifically, whenever you are going to the bathroom, whenever you pee, it's going to burn. My tip to you is whenever you're peeing, make sure you fill your cleansy bottle up before you're about to pee. Which I know sometimes I was so like, ah, because I was literally about to pee myself and I had to go fill up the thing. I definitely recommend having your cleansing bottle spraying while you're peeing and kind of like go on your tippy toes, if that makes sense. 100% a lifesaver, it doesn't burn as much. You hurt less. <laughs> Next one I have here is nipple cream. I don't know if you guys know this yet, but I'm gonna break the news to you. Even if you're not trying to breastfeed, the nurse recommend, or the doctors, whoever you're speaking to, they recommend you at least give your baby what it's called, colostrum, I believe. Your milk doesn't come in right away. First, it's that little liquid that I just mentioned, the colostrum, which they say it's literally holy water. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, so you're supposed to give that to your baby because it's a lot of vitamins and stuff like that. So when I gave birth, I was trying to breastfeed i didn't follow through with it unfortunately but if you're gonna be a breastfeeding mommy i 100 percent recommend you invest in booby products because it's rough it's rough but i didn't recommend too much booby products you should get like nipple cream you should get the pads because you're gonna have a lot of leakage as well that's another one you can probably even get a pump that's just if you're gonna breastfeed and stuff like that so i definitely recommend you investing crack nipples hurt so bad the second to last one that i have here is numbing spray the hospital actually provided me that as well and i didn't purchase another bottle or anything we were kind of broke so i was very limited on what i had but i made it work the numbing spray honestly i don't know i can't tell you if it did much for me i do remember that i would spray it every single time i went to the bathroom and i like to believe it did something for me so i do want to recommend that but like i said the hospital does provide you one at least the hospital that i gave birth to and so i wanted to throw that in there because they do sell that and so maybe you can do a little bit more better research on it to see which one has better reviews and all that good stuff the last one i have here is hemorrhoid cream let me let me tell you i didn't even know what hemorrhoids were i didn't know that you could get hemorrhoids when you gave birth i didn't know what they were i wasn't really informed i remember that every single time i would go to the bathroom specifically you know number two it felt like it was literally ripping down there so i was like what's going on is my tear not healing like what is this pain that i'm feeling right now so then uh finally i got my postpartum appointment i believe at six weeks postpartum so she checked me down there she was like your stitches came out blah 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 blah. so i was like okay so why does it hurt when i go to the bathroom so i explained to her my situation she was like uh did you have hemorrhoids i was like i don't i don't know like what is that <laughs> she's like yeah they're probably hemorrhoids i'm gonna um prescribe you cream blah 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 so anyways now that i'm a little bit informed i definitely recommend you guys purchasing a hemorrhoid cream beforehand just to try and be prepared just in case you do have hemorrhoids like me it kind of sucks because it's one of those things where it possibly can be something for a lifetime or like where it can come and go i'm one of those that if I don't drink enough water, I sometimes get them again. And then I wanted to get into one last thing. I don't want to recommend it because I know that topic is kind of controversial. I definitely did buy a Faja. I don't want to recommend it because I did buy it, but I didn't use it. 
I'm gonna explain why. I did try to use it, but I didn't follow through with it because every single time I would put it on, I couldn't really breathe and I couldn't sit down good and it just hurt my tears. Like it, it just was painful for me. So that's why I didn't really end up being consistent with it, which I wish I had. I feel like it probably could have helped me bounce back a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to mention it. I don't want to recommend it only because I didn't really use it. I have heard the benefits from it. I say do your own research on that because I'm not too, too informed on all of these things. I'm speaking out of experience. Those are going to be my postpartum slash recovery must-haves. I 100% recommend all of these things that I went into a little bit of depth in. I kind of tried to explain to you guys what it helped with. Another little tip I want to recommend or mention is that one of my cousins actually had told me once that she was like i did not want to tear at all this and that and she said that there are literally workouts on youtube for your your kuka uh, to literally i guess make it stronger or something like that so that you can prevent tearing you can prevent from tearing did you guys know that i literally did not know that if i ever have a kid again i'm most definitely 100 percent gonna look into that because i didn't know that was the thing i recommend you guys drink a lot of water throughout your pregnancy i think that can also help you avoid hemorrhoids everyone that's watching to all my future mommies my soon-to-be mommies i wish you guys a easy and healthy labor i hope you guys found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next video bye guys bye guys i literally just that's what my daughter does. Okay, bye.